Well, after uh, service today is the um, uplifting prayer time. So um, would encourage you to stay and pray. Can't hear it. Would ask that you stay and pray. Uh, we pray about um, everything, you know, and uh, it's so important to cover not only your families, but um, um, all of uh, our world uh, in prayer. And it's a great opportunity for you to meet um, prayer warriors because that's who this church is, and we want you to be a part of that. I would also share with you that um, on May the 7th, which is a Saturday after the men's Bible study, we're going to have a teaching on hydroponics. Um, and that's important because as you begin to hear what's going on uh, around the world, that there's a food shortage coming and all this other things, um, the board and uh, Kevin and I in particularly wanted to um, share with our body the way for us to come together. Because if in fact the food shortage comes, we want our church to be able to meet each other's needs. And so um, we'll get more information to you, but it's an important time of coming together so we can minister to each other. And um, if you haven't read up on hydroponics, do that um, because it's an important part of how we can minister to each other as well as to our community. And we see that as a need coming up and our church wants to be proactive. May 1st, next um, Sunday, is the March of Remembrance. And um, I share that with you because uh, we've been supporters of the March of Remembrance. It basically is a Holocaust Memorial Day, and we will meet uh, and um, learn about what took place at the Holocaust. We'll also hear all kinds of speakers um, that will share about what's going on, just an educational time. It's at Mur Murrieta Mesa High School. Um, and so there's flyers in the back, grab one and um, just come out, you know, hear what uh, is happening around the world and how we can honor victims of the Holocaust, okay? Uh, and then if you need more information about what's going on or with the church or when you need it, you can go to ccfv.life. And you can hear about the Bible studies that are ongoing. You can hear about events that are taking place. And so we'd ask that you uh, go there and um, just see what's going on and what's happening. So we talked about staying and praying um, after service. But, you know, being a praying church, we should be in prayer all the time. And I would encourage you to pray for the United States government. They need a lot of help. And our prayers do that. Uh, the... State of California needs a lot of help as well. There's an assembly bill, we've talked about it before, assembly bill 2223. That bill has passed out of the committee. It will be going to the full assembly. And if that passes that, it goes to our governor for signature. This bill is um, on our side is being called the inf in infant. Infanticide, infanticide, infanticide. <laughs> uh, bill. And, and it basically says, um, and they coined a new uh, word um, to encompass this, but it basically says that a baby, um, even after they're born up to six days, and now they're extrapolating that and saying up to 28 days could be killed um, as part of the abortion. And if that happens, nothing happens to the person that does that. Um, Christians, we need to be praying against that. Uh, in Maryland, they had a similar kind of bill, and it was struck down. Um, so we need to be, as Californians, in prayer against that. Um, please be in prayer, you know? Pray that our governor um, just has some moment of um, cognition that helps him to veto that if it gets there. But pray against that bill. Um, pray for our, our governors uh, around the nation as well. Pray for Israel. Uh, Israel is still under some interesting attacks, um, and God calls us to do that. That's why this church supports Israel. Well, let's go to prayer, and I would remind you once again, stay and pray after service. Father, we do thank you that you are God. We thank you, Father, that we can join together, Father, with millions of Christians throughout this state, throughout this country, to come against evil. And we pray against AB 2223 that you would rebuke it, Father, in Jesus' name. 
We pray that it would not pass. And we pray that again, that because you're in control, you know the beginning from the end. You know what you're doing. And we just give you, Father, our praise for that. We pray for Israel, that you would bless them, that you would just allow them to see their Messiah, Father. Lord, help us as a church to be used of you. Pour out your Holy Spirit that we would hear your voice and do your will and be obedient. Bless our worship. Bless the teaching that your name alone would be glorified. In Jesus' name, amen.